Hi, Dave Lee here. Thanks for joining us for this episode of FLIR Delta. If you've been looking at adding a thermal camera to your drone operations, you know that FLIR cameras come with a variety of available resolutions and lens options. There are good reasons for this. Lower resolution cameras can cost a lot less, and different mission profiles work best with different lenses. The downside of having all these options is that newcomers to thermal technology often don't know which combination of resolution and lens is best for what they're trying to accomplish. Since there's no hard and fast rule about what combination will work best for a given application, in this video we're going to show you some image comparisons that we hope will make it easier for you to pick the right resolution and lens for your missions. First, let's talk about resolution. FLIR's drone cameras come with two predominant resolution options, 336 by 256 and 640 by 512. The higher your camera's resolution, the more pixels you'll have on the scene, which gives you better image detail, but with a similar lens, the higher resolution will have significantly wider field of view, so those pixels will be spread over a wider ground footprint in the image you see. This wider field of view can greatly decrease your detection range. Each resolution camera has a few lens options with different focal lengths and fields of view. Because these lenses are not interchangeable, you need to find the right balance between image detail, ground coverage, and magnification. Let's take a look at what this looks like from the air. For this demonstration, we've staged a six foot tall person and a couple of cars at a fixed location. For each camera, we'll fly directly away and note the distance at which each target becomes barely discernible. We'll also note the ambient conditions on screen. If your conditions are different, it will impact the range performance you'll see. First, we'll compare 9mm lenses with 336 and 640 resolutions. Other than image detail, one of the first things you'll notice is that the 640 camera has that wider field of view I mentioned earlier. But that wider field of view comes at the cost of detection range. As we pull back, the person in the 640 image is barely discernible at 1,095 feet, while he's still visible in the 336 image out to 1,830 feet. The car disappears at 1,730 feet in 640 and 2,950 in 336. So when comparing similar focal length lenses with different resolution, the trade-off is between image detail and ground coverage on one hand and magnification and detection range on the other. You'll have to decide which is a higher priority for your missions. Next, we'll compare resolutions again, but this time we'll use lenses that have similar fields of view a 9mm on a 336 resolution camera, and a 19mm on a 640 camera. This time, the person in the 336 image disappears from view at 1,830 feet, while he's still visible in the 640 image out to 2,260 feet. The car disappears at 2,950 feet in 336, and 3,780 feet in 640. That demonstrates the advantages of the higher 640 resolution camera better image detail, and longer detection range. Finally, let's take a look at the 9, 13, and 19 millimeter lenses, but all in 640 resolution. This gives you a good idea of the trade-off between the area you can cover and the range at which you can make out targets within a given resolution. I hope that helps you visualize the difference between the available resolutions and fields of view that you need to consider when selecting your drone thermal camera. We'd like to thank our friends at Aerodrone Academy for their help in producing this video. Check out their link in the description below. Thanks for watching this episode of FLIR Delta. Keep checking back for new episodes and free helpful downloads at fleer.com delta. Fly safe, and I'll see you next time.